Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing very well. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Ashley Elizabeth and I am a makeup artist from the UK. <laughs> So I wanted to jump on this trend of recreating looks that you guys have designed for me. So a few days ago, I popped up on my Instagram stories, like a face chart, to, and asked you to create some looks for me. And you guys came through with the looks, like, wow, you didn't hold back. I did get quite a few different options in, but today I'm going to stick to five of them otherwise this video is going to be three months long i just want to say a quick thank you to everyone that took the time to create a look for me and i'm sorry that i can't fit them all into this video let's see what happens here we go so i've just zoomed you guys in because we are going to be focusing on mainly the eyes today and the first look that i'm going to create is this one right here so we've gone for green and pink vibes you know they say pink and green should never be seen i'm going to dive straight in i'm going to start off by priming my eyelids and I'm just going to use my P. Louise eyeshadow base and this is in the shade number two. Um, and quick side note, I will only be doing one eye because again, this video will be like about 12 months long if I try and do both and I'll be here for days. So I will just be focusing on one half of my face today. I'm going to dive in with our eyeshadows and I think the perfect palette for this type of look is the Be Perfect and Stacey Marie Carnival 3, the Love Tahiti one. The variation of greens and pinks in this palette is insane. So I'm going to start off with the deeper green in the crease and from the Stacey Marie palette that is the shade Forest. And I'm just using a Morphe M507. And then I am just going to pull this out slightly towards my hairline, create that nice winged shape. Then I'm just going to soften that edge. So next I'm going to grab a clean M507 and go in with the next lightest green shade from the palette which is called Tropics. And I'm just going to blend this right above that darker green colour. I love that someone created something with greens as well because greens are my favourite colour to work with. Well, like one of my favourite colours to work with. Just find them so easy to use and to blend. And then I am just going to tickle round them edges just to make sure they're nice and blended with the shade called Key Lime from the same palette. And I've just switched to a Zoeva 227 and I'm just going to buff this around them edges. So then I'm just going to go back and quickly build up my blend of my other colours. So I will just fast forward through this bit for you so it doesn't bore you. Then I'm going to carve my crease. So I'm first just going to use my tin of Vaseline to carve out a rough shape of where I want my cut crease to be. Then I'm just going to use a Q-tip just to wipe that away. And once that's all cleared away, it's time for me to actually stamp on my cut crease using the same P. Louise base from before. I think I've literally just held my breath through that whole bit. And then across the lid, we've got this like pink ombre. So we've got from light pink through to hot pink. So I'm still going to stick with the Love Tahiti palette. And the first shade that I'm going to go in with is Bare. I'm just going to pack that on this inner corner. I've never actually used this shade from the palette before. It's really pretty. Then I'm going to switch to the shade Hibiscus. I feel like this looks giving me like watermelon vibes. And then the final shade that I'm going to go in with for this lid is Bloom. And I am just going to blend this right up. I 
I'm just gonna use my concealer brush that I put like my actual face concealer on with just to clean up this line, just to make it nice and sharp. So on the under eye, it looks like we've got a bit of a lime green. So I'm gonna pop some lime green eyeliner in and I'm gonna use the Barry M High Viz eyeliner and this is the shade Strobe Light. And then I think I am just going to go in and pop the same greens from the top on the under eye as well. Just going to get that forest shade right up underneath them bottom eyelashes. Then blend that with Tropics. Let's add in a little bit of that key line. So I feel like we need a little bit of shimmer, like a little bit of inner corner highlight, something like that. So I'm going to take the shimmery pink shade from the Love Tahiti palette called Pearl. And I'm just going to pack that just on this inner corner. And I'm going to use a Molly O'Brien Gracie brush. That just finished it. And then I'm just going to pop on a lash. I feel like for this look we need like a big lash. I think that's going to be my answer for all of them. For eyelashes, I have gone for the Blinky Boo eyelashes and these are in the style Sasha. So they are super fluffy, but they are nice and winged out as well, just to add to the winged effect. So while I wait for the glue to dry on that, I'm just going to pop on some mascara and I'm just going to use my Morphe Make It Big Mascara. And then for the final stage of this look, we've gone for a brown lip. So let me try and get one of them on. So for lip liner, I'm going to take the Morphe lip pencil in the shade Clingy. And I don't really have any like super dark brown lipsticks or anything. So I'm going to go, I'm going to deviate a smidge and I'm going to take the Fenty Gloss Cream. And I, this is the shade Honey Waffles. So that is it for the first look. What do we think? I'm getting major, major watermelon vibes from this one. I absolutely love it. So on to the second one. So I'm back for number two. This is the second look that we are going for. I'm slightly scared for this one because as you can see, we've got some blue gingham, like checkered print. So this could go horribly wrong, but I'm going to try my best. So I'm going to take a mixture of three different colours. So I need a white, a like pale blue, and then a darker blue. So for my white, I'm going to take my P. Louise base in the shade Zero. For my pale blue, I'm going to take one of the pastel bases this is touch of frost then for my darker blue i'm going to take the sheen cosmetics neon dreams water activated eyeliner palette and take this shade in the top corner so i'm just going to be dipping between all three of them creating our lines i'm going to do like one row of white pastel white pastel and then the second line is going to be dark blue pastel dark blue pastel i hope got it in my head but whether i can get that onto my eye is a different story so please pray for me this is definitely going to be one of them trust the process looks then just switch into touch of frost this is just to get like a rough idea of the shape and then i'm going to go in and clean and sharpen everything up with a smaller brush i'm just using a morphe m213 to create all this shape where the white is on top of that is going to be pastel. This is so hard. Now I'm going to get some of the darker shade in just so I can sort of see where I'm going. It should start coming together a little bit. This is definitely going to look a hot mess for a while. Then we need another row of white and pastel. made like a rough sketch of what shape I want just so I can see an aim for where I'm going. So we're going to need some white over here. Let's get some more pastel blue. Get that all in between. And then I'm going to need another layer of pastel and dark blue. It's just getting your head around the actual pattern of it and where everything's meant to go. Okay. 
so you've got like a rough idea going on here so i'm going to switch to some eyeliner brushes just to try and tidy and sharpen everything up so i'm going to go in with that dark blue first and just start really straightening them lines up This is so hard to do and talk at the same time. So my apologies if I'm a bit quiet during this one. Right, so this is what we're looking like after just tidying up the blue. Then I'm gonna switch and go in with the white. You know what I'm actually gonna do? I forgot that I've got a water activated eyeliner in white. So I'm gonna take the Sheen Cosmetics again in the shade Buttermilk. I think this will be a little bit better than the P. Louise base. Gotta try and make sure everything's lined up properly. I feel like it's coming together much better now. I am gonna clean up the outside shape as well, so I'm not worried too much about how that's looking. And then I think I might actually mix the dark blue and the white together to make my lighter blue tone, just because I think the UV light, the water activated liner will sit better with this look than the P. Louise base because with the liners I don't have to worry about going in and setting with an eyeshadow whereas with the P. Louise bases they don't dry down on their own I'm really trying not to open my eye while I do this as well I mean I'm really trying not to move much at all people do these kinds of looks on the regular because how do you stay still how do you stay this still for so long so i'm just gonna leave that a few minutes just to dry off and make sure it doesn't get all smudgy and i'm just gonna fix that shape a little bit so i'm just gonna grab a small brush i have no idea what this thing is oh it's a c326 from crown brushes and a bit of micellar water and i'm just gonna use this to just go around and clean up this shape. So I am not too mad at this. Obviously, it's not the best, but we give it a go. So I'm just gonna quickly pop on a eyelash. So I didn't want anything too dramatic that will cover up all of my hard work. So I've gone for the Dolls House Cosmetics eyelashes in the shade in in the shade in the style Hestia. So I'm actually going to leave the under eye blank with this one. I don't want to overload it too much. That being said, our face chart does have a orangey red lip. So, so I'm going to line the lips using my Morphe lip pencil in the shade Mina. Then I'm going to create a little bit of an ombre. So I'm just going to smudge this liner in a little bit. And then in the centre of the lips, I'm just going to pop the P. Louise Brights eyeshadow base. And this is in OTT Orange. So I'm just going to lightly tap that in the centre. I feel very cute in this one. I feel like a picnic basket. This one was so fun to do. It was incredibly difficult, but I am so happy that I chose to do this one, you know. Why not challenge ourselves every now and then? This is all for number two. So let's move on to number three. I'm back. So it is the next day and I'm going to carry on. But I've decided I'm only going to do four of the looks in total rather than five. I feel like four was just a nice even number. So we did two yesterday. We're doing two today. So I'm going to dive straight in and carry on with our looks. So we have got this one next. So we've got some purples and blues, them kind of tones. So I figured what better palette to use for this look than the Beauty Bay Book of Magic palette. I'm just going to prime my eyelid first, of course, with my P. Louise base. And this is in shade number two. So I'm going to dive straight into the eyeshadows and I'm going to start with the deep blue from the palette this one which is called cursed and i'm going to start just packing that on that crease i'm just 
just created a rough guide of what shape I want to create. I don't know if I mentioned the brush was a Morphe M507, of course. And then I'm gonna switch to the second blue from the palette, which is this one here called Trick. Also, if you can see this thing behind me, I've had to steal Dan's gaming chair today because the chair that I normally use hurts my back so much. That's why I couldn't carry on doing all of the looks yesterday. I'm just gonna blend this around that darker shade. And then I'm just gonna go in and blend that edge as well. No matter what I do, I always end up with a blend in my hairline. I always try and keep it smaller, but I think I just need to accept that this is who I am as a human being. Hairline blend or nothing. And then I'm gonna actually grab another M507 and go in with the lightest blue, which is this one called Elixir. I'm just gonna use this just to soften the very edges of that shape. So I'm just quickly going to go back in and build up all my colours, so usual spiel, I'm going to fast forward it so you don't get bored. So this is where I am at at the minute and I'm just going to quickly map out the shape of my crease using my tin of Vaseline. So then we have got a nice purple on the lid. So I think I'm going to coat my crease with, with the purple P. Louise pastel base. This one is Vivid Violet. Then to set that base, I'm going to go in with this shade from the palette, which is called Charmed. And I want that to be nice and foiled so i'm just going to spray a little bit of setting spray so i am going to pop on a little bit of eyeliner like in the photo so i'm going to take my doll beauty eyeliner pen this one is called push pop and liner Then before that dries, I'm just going to blend off this outer edge so it smooths into our eyeshadows a bit better. So I'm just taking the same brush I used on the darker shades and I'm just going to pat it over the, this very, very outer portion. So I'm just going to pop on an eyelash and I'm going to go for the By Robin Anderson lashes and these ones are the style Robin. And of course, while I wait for that glue to dry, I'm just going to pop on some mascara. And then for the under eye, I'm just going to take them blue shades underneath. So I'm going to start out with that navy shade right up close to that bottom lash line. Then I'm just going to blend that with Trick. And then finally with Elixir. And then I feel like we need some dark eyeliner just to keep in tone with the look so i'm going to go in with my i'm going to go in with the barry m bold waterproof eyeliner and this is in black and then i want something on this inner corner just to help join it all together so i think i'm going to grab book of magic palette again and go in with the shade in the corner which is called moonlight and then this drawing didn't have a lip colour, so I'm just going to do something nude. So I'm feeling something a little bit more pinky nude, something quite similar to my actual lip tone. So I'm going to go in with the Morphe Lip Pencil in the shade Backseat Love. Then for lipstick, I'm going to go in with an absolute classic, and I'm going to take the MAC lipstick in the shade Velvet Teddy. So there we have it, that is look number three. This one's very cute. Let's come back for the fourth and final look. And here we are for the fourth and final look of this video. If you've made it this far, then I applaud you. This is our final look, and this one comes from my darling, my other half, my Daniel created this for me so i had to include it and i do like the color story that he went for one thing 
I will note is the picture doesn't have any lips on, but he was very adamant that he wanted orange lips. So I'm going to try and make that happen. I have already put my eye base on because you've seen it three times already. My palette of choice for this look is the Lorac Pro Cosmetics The Circus Temp Palette. So, oh, you're not in frame. So if we see, we've got some gorgeous yellows, oranges, reds that we can use to create this look. So the shape that we've got is quite a solid there's like no blending at all so i think i'm just going to sketch out the shape first of all i'm just going to take a nude eyeliner pencil this one's a body m and i'm just gonna sketch out that shape just so i know roughly where i want everything to go I don't even know if you guys can see that, but I can just see a very faint outline. That'll just help be a guide for me as I am going through this look. So we are ombreing from yellow to red. And to create a rough shape, I'm going to do three of the P. Louise bases. So I'm going to use Yummy Yellow, OTT Orange and Rude Boy Red. This yellow one isn't very bright yellow, but it will just help emphasise that, ye that yellow eyeshadow when I do put it on. So I'm just popping these colours down across the lid and then I am going to go in and blend them. Definitely for this stage having that guideline there is such a big help because I can make sure that each colour is on line with each other. I've just realised that every single one of these looks I've done has been something like slightly more winged out. I'm just going to blend between these colours now just to create a nice ombre so that makes it easier for when we go in with our eyeshadows as well. So this is our rough shape so I'm going to go in and start packing on our eyeshadows. So I'm going to start with yellow so I'm going to go in with this shade called Bananas. Then I'm going to switch to the shade Giggles. I have, it's literally only just dawned on me that all of the shade names are to do with the circus and carnivals and I'll tell you what, if I had a brain I'd be dangerous. And then for our red shade, let's take Tent. I'm just making sure them colours are blended together, you know, so it's not just a sudden stop of yellow into orange. And I've just realised the yellow has got a little bit of a pointed inner corner, so I'm going to attempt to do that. I'm just going to set that down with that banana's shade. And then there is a little bit of sparkle over the yellow. So to create that, I'm going to take the Peaches and Cream Pigment. And this is in the shade Hollywood. It's like a gold, like a really yellow gold. And just to make sure that actually sticks, I'm going to take some of my NYX Glitter Primer. I think I'm going to fade it just into the orange ever so slightly. And then we've got the same colour series underneath the eye. So I am going to put a little bit of the bases under the eye first, just so the colours match to those on top. So I'm just going to start with the red. Fade into our orange. And then join up that yellow. Then I'm just going to go over with all the colours that I used on top. going to pop on a bit of orange eyeliner in that waterline. This one's from NYX, but I don't think they make it anymore, but it's the Off Off Tropic Pro Liner. And this is the shade Mimosa Orange. These were really good. I don't know why they stopped making them. And for the lashes on this look, I'm going for the Molly Cosmetics Eyelashes in the style MCM24. And you know the drill by now, that glue is drying, so it's time for mascara. So time for the orange lip. I was going to use that P. Louise base, but I feel like it's going to come off a little bit more red. So I think what I might do is I might 
use an orange lip liner and colour my lips in and then put a gloss on top. So I'm just going to use that Off Tropics liner again. I'm going to have to colour my whole lips in. My plan was to just blend it into the middle a little bit, but I'm going to have to use it all because it's just not budging. I've actually got a little bit of an orangey gloss. This is the NYX Butter Gloss and this one is the shade Cherry Cheesecake. And just really spreading that thin because I don't want it to overtake that orange colour too much. And that is the fourth and final finished look. What do we think? So that is all for today's video, guys. If you made it this far, thank you so much. You are a trooper. I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that took the time to design a look for me. I'm so sorry I couldn't fit them all in, but we would have been here for about three months watching this video if I did every single one of them. I wanted to pick looks that were different to each other. And also I wanted to make it my mission to use different palettes and different things for each look. I am definitely going to do more of these in the future, so I will save them and they might pop up again thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and while you are there hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so that you don't miss any videos from myself and leave me a comment below let me know what look was your favorite and let me know anything in the comments that you would like to see me do a video about in the future thank you all so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one bye